starting a brand new standard, which is this one right here. Energy conservation and transfer. Explain how the properties of some materials change as a result of heating and cooling. And more specifically, we're going to be focusing on the effects of the transfer of heat, either by direct contact or at a distance, that occurs between objects at different temperatures. So more specifically, we're going to be talking about the processes of conduction, convection, and radiation. So the reason that I started this video is because I wanted to help students to um, kind of figure out how you're going to be progressing through this lesson, excuse me, that was supposed to be progressing uh, through this lesson. Uh, I have a PowerPoint presentation like we always used to do in class and um, a matrix that you're going to be filling out on your own now that we're doing virtual learning and as opposed to us doing it as a group. So um, one of the main things I wanted to talk to you about is some of the mnemonics that you can use to help you to remember the difference between conduction convection and radiation. So you're going to be learning this when you do your PowerPoint lessons and your hands-on home experiments, but uh, conduction is basically the movement of heat through direct contact. Now when I was a kid, the way I used to remember this is by the name. So mnemonics help us to remember things. Uh, and conduction, when I used to hear it, I used to think conduction sounds like a duck. Hmm. So I used to remember if a duck was sitting its but on a grill, that would be direct contact. So I would remember conduction like a duck's butt sitting on a grill. So conduction, Naomi, repeat after me, conduction. 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 Remember, it has that duck in it, like a quack, quack, duck. So conduction. Conduction. A duck's butt sitting on a grill. A duck's butt sitting on a grill. Good. Conduction. Conduction. <laughs> conduction. <laughs> Conduction. A duck's butt sitting on a grill. A duck's butt sitting on a grill. So that helps us that to remember that that's heat transfer through direct contact. Okay. Uh, the other one is convection. Convection is the movement of heat through fluids. And remember, fluids can mean either a gas or a liquid. It's any of those uh, states of matter where the molecules can flow. Uh, so convection we remember as currents of hot or cold in a fluid. And we just remember in our brains that fluids are gases or liquids. So convection. Convection. Currents. Currents. Of hot or cold. Of hot or cold. In a fluid. In a fluid. That's right. Convection. Convection. Currents. Currents. Of hot or cold. Of hot or cold. In a fluid. In a fluid. And then we go ahead and rewind a little bit. Conduction. Conduction. A duck's butt sitting on a grill. A duck's butt sitting on a grill. Convection. Convection. Currents of Cur hot or cold. Currents of hot and cold. In a fluid. And a fluid. And then radiation is our last form of heat transfer. It's the movement of heat through space. So that could be electromagnetic wavelengths. Um, it's when there is nothing touching and there is we're not talking about gases or liquids. So you can think about the sun's radiation. And we learned about the sun's radiation when we studied the water cycle. So we take our finger and we draw the sun in the air and we show its rays. So that's sign language for sun. So we say the sun's heat radiation shining on me. So that's radiation. Radiation? Radiation. The sun's heat radiation. The seats. The sun's. <laughs> It's okay. The sun's heat radiation. The sun's heat radiation. Shining on me. Shining on me. So, because we can go outside and we can feel the sun's heat energy okay. on our face. Unless I'm swimming. Which is radiation. So, radiation. Radiation. The sun's heat radiation shining on me. The sun's heat radiation shining on me. Excellent. So, we'll start at the beginning. That's conduction. 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 A duck's butt sitting on a grill. A duck's butt sitting on a grill. Convection. Convection. Currents of hot or cold in a fluid. Currents of hot or cold in a fluid. And radiation. 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 The, the sun's heat radiation shining on me. The sun's heat radiation Shining on me. Shining on me. All right, boys and girls. So there's some little mnemonic helpers to help stick that information in your brain. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call or email me or dojo me or Google Classroom me. 
Miss you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.